In this video, we will learn how to calculate unit price. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice comparing unit prices while shopping. For a bit of background, unit price is defined as the cost per unit of the item. We can solve for this by taking the total price of the package and dividing by the number of units included. Let's try this practice problem. You and your siblings are shopping for your favorite juice and come across these four options. We are asked to select which option is the best bargain, or in other words, most value for our dollar. We can find the best bargain by comparing each option's unit price. Let's put our formula on the side here to reference that unit price equals total price divided by number of units. Then since we have four different options, we can break up our workspace into four sections. For the first option, we know that $2.15 is the total price which we can put in the numerator, and then we can divide by one liter. This just gives us $2.15 per liter. Now let's do the same process for the other options. For two liters of juice, we can put the total price of $4.10 on the top and divide by two liters. This will give us a unit price of $2.05 per liter. Now try solving for the unit price for the packages of 3 and 10 liters of juice. Great work on those calculations. So now that we have all four options unit prices, which option provides the best bargain? Exactly. We see that the 2 liters is the best bargain of these options because it's the least expensive per unit. So what have we learned? We see that through comparing unit prices, the cheapest price tag might not always be the best deal. You can oftentimes save more money by calculating or even looking and finding the unit price label on the shelf. Okay, let's review. In order to compare unit prices, first you must identify the total price and how many units are included. Then we can divide the total price by the number of units. Lastly, we can compare our options to see which unit price will provide us with the best bargain. Now it's your turn. You're shopping for pencils and trying to figure out which option is the best bargain. Go ahead and try calculating. Great work on learning how to compare unit prices. Continue on to the practice problems in your worksheet. You got it! 